Hello, hello, hello. Aphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it's on Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid. So there are allegations that they broke up and Yolanda, who is Gigi's mom, has made an alleged allegation against Zayn. There are rumors saying that he may have touched her and like pushed her or something or shoved her. No one knows what this he is. So I figured we'd just do a reading on it and see what's going on. Now, remember that these readings are all alleged for entertainment members only, but I also just want to say that I'm not surprised that this relationship is in turmoil because I've been saying that since the beginning. Now, for those of you that don't know, I was a Zane girl from the One Direction days, but I'm no stranger to his behavior. He's the only short man that I've ever thought was cute, Ooh. but we're going to get into it. So remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment members only. Let's get started. I mean, I'm also not really shocked because, like, if I used to watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I don't really watch that anymore. But when I did back in the day, Yolanda had thought that Gigi was lesbian. And so I feel like she's at least bisexual because you can't just undo that. It's a long story. So there's just something, there's always been something off about their relationship. I think I love them both individually. I'm a fan of both of them individually together. I've never really liked them together, even though I think they're beautiful and they're make, they obviously made a beautiful baby. But. I don't know. I mean, I just remember when she got into they got into it, both of them with Jake Paul, and Gigi's first response was, he's a respectful king that stays home. He's a good boy. And I'm just like, that's giving, that's giving cheating. I don't know. When someone says that, like, he stays home like a good boy, like, he should be able to go out and you shouldn't be jealous because you shouldn't feel insecure that he's going to cheat on you by going out. So like going out is not a bad thing. So the fact that you think that going out is a bad thing means that going out is a bad thing for him, which means he's cheating. But that's just my opinion. Shocker. The first card I pulled is the devil. Shocker. Oof. Okay. I thought I was going to get Yolanda in the middle of them, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to reshuffle for Yolanda specifically because the middle of this is their relationship. So this is their dynamic. So the devil card is reverse, which that's Gigi. Gigi's on the left. Um, Zane is on the right. So the devil card, when I see the devil card reverse, that's avoiding toxicity, running from toxicity. So do I think this relationship is toxic? Yes, I do. Um, obviously I don't know for sure, but it reads as that, at least excuse me, in this instance, it feels like to me, she's an avoidant person. Um, I think with the devil card, she's been trying to avoid a lot of stuff. Um, I also think a part of her likes to be around toxic people so that she feels less guilty with her own toxic traits. Um, I think that she's one of those people that like, if she surrounds herself with people like that, she'll feel more normal and more comfortable with what she's doing. Um, do I think that she's an angel? Absolutely not. Not at all. Um, the five of swords is a verse, which is, uh, Zane, which is pettiness, which means that he's consistently gotten more and more frustrated with her and more petty. Um, so do I think that he's going to consistently look like the bad guy? Yes. But I also think he enjoys being the bad guy because I think a part of him is like, nobody knows the real you. I know the real you. If people did, they would be shocked. He's a loose cannon. And that's actually the problem with their relationship is that Zane is now a loose cannon. The 10 of pentacles is between them, which is a lot of money and long-term success, which means that their pairing was extremely beneficial for both of them. And there were a lot of expectations put on them, not only from family, which I'm sure Yolanda is partly to blame for this, but just in general is there's a lot of expectations. They're supposed to be together forever. They're supposed to make money. It's supposed to be a business, a brand, da, 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 da. but it just does not look like that is in the cards anymore. Like that's what the expectation was. That's what the projection was. But it seems like Zane was getting frustrated of being pushed into a section that he doesn't want to be in in life. And I think he was getting frustrated at being like, this isn't really who you are though. You live a different life. Zane feels like Gigi lives two different lives. There's two different versions of her, the real her and the persona. And I think he's getting tired of that. Um, she brings him around because she he basically looks worse than she does, so she looks better. Um, for me, the Five of Swords makes me think that the entire time he's been childish and petty, and the entire time he's been a burden that has to be cleaned up after. 
I don't know why they were together for so long. And I don't, and if they are still together, I don't get it. It's like, why did you choose Zane of all people to push things along? Because it just, the five of swords just makes me feel like he constantly ruins things. Why do we keep him around? Is it cause he's pretty? Cause I damn sure know the dick game ain't that good, sis. Now the nine of cups is reversed. So that's about not getting what we want. The knight of swords is upright and the 10 of so ten of wands reversed. Again, the Knight of Swords is like pure intentions and it's like helping people. But the Ten of Wands, a burden not worth having. It's almost like they wanted a it's like it's almost like they wanted to like save Zayn. Like the entire family. Like that's what it feels like. Like I think a part of her wants to save him because if she saves him, she saves the part of herself she's in denial about. But I also genuinely think the family thought that they could save him. It's weird. I think Zane is just fucking lazy. I'm going to be honest. I think he was lazy and he enjoyed being spoiled. And I'm going to keep it real. I, I, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I think he's fucking lazy and he just like being spoiled. So if they're going to spoil me and give me everything, I'll just play along because I love it. He's definitely volatile though. He's got anger issues. I don't care what anybody tells you. The Seven of Wands says that he doesn't do himself any favors, does not prove himself at all. In fact, I think that he's entitled. Um, so not trying to be rude here. Like I said before, I'm trying to be respectful, but the Seven of Wands is an underdog. When it's reversed, it means you did this yourself. To me, he seems entitled. The Seven of Pentacles is like getting out of your comfort zone. So I know that he struggles with anxiety. Um, I know there were rumors that he may have been agoraphobic or anything like that, but to me, it seems like if he's not comfortable and if he's not happy, he will destroy everything around him in order to be comfortable, safe, and happy. He has an unhealthy connection to his surroundings. Like, it's not, it's toxic. Like he, he's toxic. I don't care what anybody tells you. Like that is someone that's like, I, page of sword is a fight. I'm willing to fight anyone as long until if I'm not comfortable. So this is someone who's like, we need to go out to this party. You need to show up to this party. And if he has a bad anxiety day, he will throw a temper tantrum and have anger issues because his anxiety is getting the best of him. So to me, it's someone who has issues that isn't dealing with her issues and isn't coping properly. And he's lashing out everything around him. So I definitely, it comes across as entitled and childish, um, 100%. I didn't get my way, so I lashed out. In fact, it's probably what happened with him and Yolanda, but we'll get into that in a minute. I see people walking on eggshells around him, feeling like I don't know what's going to set him off. Um, the Five of Wands is like I'm trying to avoid the confrontation. Um, that's probably also why she throws herself into bit into work. Um, the Two of Wands says they fought a lot, though. There's no way they didn't fight. If they weren't fighting, they weren't paying attention to what each one was saying because this is a mass amount of provoking. The Hangman is about trying to let it go. I don't know why my green screen is greening out yellow. I need to fix that. Um, the Strength card is Vulnerability. When it's reversed, the four swords not. So to me, it's just like we put a ton of time and effort into this relationship. I don't want to quit. That's the only reason they were together. Both of them are not quitters. I mean, Tor she's a Taurus, right? So Taurus and Capricorn, both are Earth signs. Neither one of them wanted to be quitters. That's what the problem was. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if the baby um, was something that they weren't really expecting. Um, so that may have like gave them a little bit more extra time. Um who is this? There's another couple. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, they are together. That's So sometimes it's water signs, but for me, it feels like a bond. So it feels like another couple that is together. And the Page of Wands is a verse, which is saying one thing and doing another, but that's also about not speaking your truth. There's some other couple that they compare themselves to or that they wanted to be compared to. And it wasn't healthy. And these two are like, almost polar opposites it's like this is the relationship you should have it's weird there's some sort of comparison to another couple this is the relationship you should have see the queen of swords the wheel of fortune and three of wands so three of wands is like out of nowhere so that's like to me that's like they were able to get into a healthy connection. Why can't you? And then the Wheel of Fortune is like that opportunity that they had. And the Queen of Swords, like still able to be independent. Oh. So someone has a relationship where they're allowed to be independent. 
And I think this is probably Yolanda. So I think this is where Yolanda comes in because it seems like someone in her family was like, you're allowed to be independent. It seems like Zane doesn't like that she's independent. Zane wants her at home with him. And the Ace of Wands is the turning of a new leaf and the Queen of Swords independent. So it makes me think that someone else, I don't know if it's her sister. I don't know if it's Bella. I don't know if it's um, Dula Peep and uh, Anwar. I don't know if it's just someone else. I don't know if it's freaking any other famous person. I mean, she was friends with uh, Taylor Swift and she was friends with Haley Bieber, wasn't she? So I don't know what the hell it is. All I can tell you is there's another relationship. Well, it feels like there's two because the Queen of Swords makes me think there's two. So it feels like, especially with Three of Wands, if there's two, if there's one relationship, then there has to be two others. So for me, it makes me feel like she was comparing herself. Let me explain this to you. Let me explain this to you. Ace of Wands is the turning of a new leaf, right? The Ten of Swords is backstabbing a trail and the Three of Pentacles is like job and career. It's also working on something. It makes me feel like Zayn and Gigi were comparing their relationship to another relationship and feeling like they were okay because that relationship was also toxic. It wasn't until the third relationship came into place where they started to realize, or at least this, I don't know if it's Elon or someone else, was like, this is what an actual relationship should be like. This is what a healthy dynamic is. You're comparing yourself to a toxic relationship. You should be comparing yourself to this healthy relationship. And I think that's when the pieces started to unravel is when they start to realize that the relationship they were comparing themselves to was toxic and the new, this other one is one that's actually healthy. That's when things start to unravel because that's when Gigi realized I can actually be independent. I don't have to conform. Does that make sense? Hopefully I explained that correctly. There's two couples. I think they're both celebrities, to be honest. <sighs> Yeah, she felt like she had to choose between her personal life and her career, and that's not healthy. Meanwhile, it's like, Zane, where's your fucking music? You weren't doing shit. He's creatively burnt out and has no creative juices, to be honest. You know what's so funny, and I, I say this with all due respect, I don't know what happened to Zane, but I don't know if he got into a massive depression or not, but King of Wands, not only is he burnt out, but there's no creative juices. Nothing. He can't get inspired. He has nothing. Um, the justice card is what's fair is fair. Eight of cups is like walking away from something and the star is like celebrity. So, um, that's people walking away from Zayn because he doesn't follow through with deals. He doesn't follow through promotions. He's not following through with, you know, creating music cause he just isn't inspired. So that's the vibe that I'm getting from their dynamic. Again, I'm not seeing chemistry. I'm not seeing like sexual desire, I think that both of them are miserable and were miserable the entire time. I'm going to be honest. I think that they were, I think that Gigi was just able to distract herself with work enough to where she didn't realize. So I'm going to repull because I want to get the dynamic with Yolanda. <clears throat> I just, I've always had a bad feeling about the relationship and I've, I love both of them individually. I'm a fan of both of them individually, but I said from the beginning, like their, their, their dynamic does not make sense to me. Okay. So her, him, Yolanda. Ha! <laughs> okay. So the Five of Swords is reversed um, for Gigi. So we see that as avoiding petty issues and avoiding problems. Gigi stopped telling her mom stuff because she was tired of it. So because Gigi stopped telling her mom stuff, her mom had to get her information in other ways, which is why there was a lot of miscommunications because Gigi was hiding things. The Knight of Cups is about the Yolanda not getting what she wanted. And the Knight of Swords is Zane. So Knight of Swords is someone who does have pure intentions and is honest. So the Fool is about naive energy. It's also child here. The Two of Pentacles is an unequal exchange. The Six of Swords is the internet. So I'm going to tell you a few things here. First, something definitely happened between the two of them. That's, that's clear, right? Second, I don't think Zane's intention was to hurt or harm someone doesn't make his actions correct. I'm just saying the Knight of Swords tells me that I don't think his initial intention was to cause problems, okay? I don't think he's lying is basically what I'm telling you. I don't think he's lying about his intentions at all. Um, 
doesn't mean his actions are excusable. So let's get that straight. However, the two of pentacles, the fool and the six of swords is that Yolanda is not the one to blame for this going to the press initially. Someone else was going to go to the press and it was not Yolanda. And that's what's kind of stumping me because I figured that Yolanda would go to the press first. So what's weird to me is that there was someone else here. So I don't know if it was Zayn himself. I don't know if it was some random person. All I know is that there was another person that was going to go to the press first. And what bothers me is who would want Yolanda to take the blame? Who wants Yolanda to take the blame? That's why I'm like, Zane, did you self-report to get out of this? Like, part of me wonders, or maybe someone on his team, or maybe someone on Gigi's team, all I know is someone, it's, it feels like a self-report to get out of a situation. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't believe that Yolanda was the first one to go public with this. Someone beat her to the punch. And I think she was like, okay, I need to like tell my story now. Someone self-reported. Because look, this is a payday. This is someone who's invested. This is a family member. Self-report from a family member making money from it. The Five of Pentacles having power over someone else. So wanting to get one over on Yolanda. It's a power play. Someone in their family did. The Six of Cups, I don't know if it's one of the siblings. I don't know if it's one of his family members, Zane's family members. I don't know, girl. But the Hierophant is reversed and the Chariot's upright, which is like, that's about breaking, this, breaking the commitment and the Chariot moving along, girl. Someone was like, we're going to end this. This is going to be the end of this. This is how we're going to have a clean break from this relationship. Are we getting duped? Is this the, their PR way of splitting? Of explaining their split. Are we getting bamboozled? Something to think about. I'll tell you what, though. It's not the first time Zane's done something like this. It's also not the first time they broke up. He did something similarly. Um, his anger. I don't know if he put himself... I don't know if he put himself, like, I don't know if he put himself in a bad situation or if he put his hands on someone. All I can tell you is this is not the first time he's done something like this. Um, and they broke up once briefly, br briefly before, or th we're thinking about um, breaking up from this before. And that makes me feel like it was before the baby. Also, his exes, uh, if you asked his exes, they would all say that he's extremely controlling. I can tell you that. Lover's card, Emperor, and King of Swords. His exes would say that he's controlling um, and selfish. Also, very good at communication and getting what he wants from girls. Yikes. King of Swords is a fuckboy. So. And he's selfish. Has no emotional attachment to these people. Doesn't care if he's a disappointment. Mm-hmm. He knows how to get a girl. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles is a single card. Judgment card is embarrassment. Star. He has a celebrity buddy. That's a hoe. Temperance card. We're one and the same. Magician. Communication. Knight of Wands. He has a celebrity buddy who is a hoe who he, whenever he links up with or taught whatever, they get into trouble. Now, what's interesting is, I mean, sometimes Temperance is a bisexual card, so maybe that person's bisexual. I'm not sure. But to me, it's like we both get into trouble together. So they may not be bisexual, but the temperance card, it could be, because sometimes that means that, but I think it's more so like temperance and magician is like, I'm going to teach you the ropes. So there's definitely a bad influence around him, but like, I feel like he's surrounded by bad influence. He doesn't really care. 
Damn, he's really lost career-wise. He's definitely lost career-wise. Oh, Yolanda wanted him to do something in his career, and he fought her tooth and nail. I don't know if she was like, let's do a clothing line, or if she was like, let's do this. There was Yolanda was pushing for something for him to do. I think she was telling Gigi, like, get him to do this, get him to do that. And I think he rebelled on purpose, even though it would be a good idea for him. Because I see Yolanda as actually being very smart and being correct. Her way of doing things is not right, but she's correct with almost everything she says. And I think he was rebelling and was like, no, fuck you. I don't want to do it because you want me to do it. And just like being childish and immature. It's funny because Gigi's feelings are not taken into consideration at all in this relationship or any of the relationships in her life because they're not even here in this reading. Which kind of makes me feel sorry for Gigi because I feel like her feelings aren't taken into account to anything and I don't think anyone really truly cares, which makes me feel sad for her. She's like not even in her own love reading really, barely. Her decisions are not her decisions to make. Mm. Well, girl, that's what I see for them. I hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, make sure you tip. There's a link to my video down below. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Aphrodite. Until next time, bye, guys.